Welcome to ASL Jesus Signs 2. So you finished with ASL Jesus Signs 1. And so now what we're going to do uh, as we begin this new class and this new semester, what happens is what? Is that in week one, we are going to be taking from the from ASL 1, the stories that you already learned, and we're going to be connecting them up with the weeks of ASL 2. So this is part of learning language, is that you learn it, but you have to go back and review it. That does what? That moves it from your short-term memory into your long-term memory. And so when you go back and you watch the videos again from ASL 1, this is important. It's review, but it really helps to put that and put it into your brain to help you remember. So there's a reason why we put in those stories to help you review that. Now what we're going to do for ASL 2, we're going to have the same ideas we did with ASL Jesus Signs 1. You're going to have this year, we're going to show you the vocabulary. But we're not only going to have you the vocabulary, the same idea. It's going to all be connected with the story. So we're going to start with telling a, a Bible story, but we will also add in and telling other stories. So the vocabulary will be connected with that. Why? Because it's easy to remember vocabulary when you connect it up with a story. And, and that also is how uh, deaf people like myself, when we look at things, we remember things more as a story. And so for you also to learn that to teach and to talk and to sign with stories. In that also, we're going to include uh, uh, examples of deaf culture, so you'll understand more about how deaf people do things, why they do things that way, how do you and I match, and how you can see and understand deaf culture. Also, with this is linguistics, the language. Why is the language? How is it structured? How is it set up? Uh, for example, you got to know who or what you're talking about, and then you can describe what happened. And so that way, uh, you will learn all of those things. Also, with this, with conversational ASL, you will learn also about no passive uh, signs. It's all active. You'll learn how to take this vocabulary and include it in your conversations for your everyday life. And so this is all going to be included in ASL 1 and 2 as we put it together. So you will have this also. So you are including for you what's called signing naturally. This adds different examples of conversational ASL and it shows you some more of the formal points of ASL with the linguistics and how you set up things and why it's set up that way. So we are taking both of these, ASL Jesus signs and signing naturally and putting them together so that you can learn and continue to expand your knowledge and understanding of sign language and the deaf world. We pray God will bless you. Have fun as you learn and sign and communicate his word with your people.